I founded my company Said mm. Technologies. Mm. Uh, along the way we did a drone, the mm. first uh, autonomous drone. Mm. We are the first people to have done a drone in Zimbabwe and program it. We did a helicopter, the first successful helicopter that flies again in Zimbabwe using materials such as Imagine you have a toy car that needs energy to move. Usually, toy cars use batteries or need to be pushed. Now let's think about a special car that doesn't need any fuel or charging. How could that work? Maxwell Chicken Butts, an inventor from Zimbabwe, says he has made a car that doesn't need fuel or charging. He claims this car uses something called a microsonic energy device to get energy from radio waves in the air. What are radio waves? Radio waves are invisible energy waves that travel through the air. They are used for things like sending music to radios or signals to TVs. Even though we can't see or feel them, they are all around us. How does this special car work? According to Chikambutso, his car has a device that can capture these radio waves and turn them into electricity. This electricity then powers the car's motor, making it move without needing traditional fuel or charging. Through that, the, the only less energy will go to recharge the battery, but the greater power of the energy powers the device. So that is the beauty of it now. If you understand what I'm saying, those people who understand like how batteries work. For example, in a car, in a typical car, the acid batteries, they've got a, your alternator has got a regulator. So when you're using a battery, that means the alternator is off. Is this like magic? It might sound like magic, but it's really about using energy that's already around us in a new way. However, many scientists are unsure if this idea works as described. They say that capturing enough energy from radio waves to power a car might not be possible with current technology. Why are people skeptical? Some experts have looked into Chikambutso's claims and found that the car he showed might actually be using regular batteries. Not a special device. They think the idea of a car powered only by radio waves might not be true. While the idea of a car that doesn't need fuel or charging is exciting. It's important to ask questions and look for proof. Scientists need to test these claims to see if they really work. For now, most cars still need fuel or electricity to run. And it would be redirected direct to the car from the alternator. So, this is what we have done. We have made it possible that a small battery can now do something that is big. Then, uh, on the car, I think we're going to demonstrate all the cars that you know, if you go to Kaya right now, all their cars, you have to plug in either a DC charging station or an AC charging station. Our car is the first car. When people ask Maxwell if his car that doesn't need fuel is real, he says it works by changing invisible energy from the air into power for the car. He believes this is a new way to make cars move without using gas or electricity. However, many experts have looked into his claims and found that the car he showed might actually be using regular batteries. Not a special device. They think the idea of a car powered only by radio waves might not be true. Maxwell Chikambutso explains that his car uses a special invention called a microsonic energy device. He says this device collects energy from the air, like how a radio picks up music from invisible waves. He believes that there is energy all around us and his invention can catch it and turn it into power to move the car. When people say, is this really true? Maxwell says, yes, it works. I have tested it, I have driven the car, and it moves without fuel or charging. He tells people that the car does not have a hidden battery or secret fuel. He says it is different from electric cars that need to be plugged in. His car makes its own electricity as it drives. This is the only vehicle that exists in the world. There's no other in the world. This is the only record in the world that it is here in Zimbabwe, by this young Zimbabwe. And he's so gifted, you won't believe it. When he first came to uh, talk to me, I, I thought he had some, didn't they hold the wires? Now no matter, he's well connected, well connected. <laughs> so they wanted to arrest him for changing physics.
<laughs> yeah, yes, yes. Even when we tried to file a patent, they said you are violating the natural laws of physics. Maxwell says he understands that people find it hard to believe because it sounds new and amazing. He says that new inventions often surprise people. A long time ago, people thought it was impossible to fly in the sky. But now we have airplanes. He says the same thing is happening with his car. He believes it is the future. He wants the world to see that it is possible to drive cars without using petrol, diesel, or even plugging them into charge. He says this will help people save money and protect the earth because the car does not produce smoke or pollution. When some people say, show us how it works, Maxwell says that he cannot show everything because his invention is still a secret. He is afraid that big companies might steal his idea. He says he needs to protect his technology before sharing all the details. He wants to make sure that his work is safe. He promises that one day, everyone will see how it works. Some people say, if it is real, why don't other scientists agree with you? Maxwell says that sometimes big companies and people with money do not like new inventions. They are afraid that if cars do not need fuel, oil companies will lose money. He believes that is why some people do not support him. He says he is not giving up because he wants to help people, especially those who cannot afford fuel or electricity. But you don't have to maintain it to save The generator doesn't help. Doesn't it? The generator doesn't have any moving path. Usually those type of devices that are known as zero point energy. So you cannot even maintain it, you cannot service it because there's no friction that is available. Wow. Mm. We're working on ways on how to protect the technology in the event that we use it. For example, we go in a country, we will set up a power station, there's a hostile takeover, we are kids. How do you protect our technology? That's why we... Maxwell so, tells stories about his past. This car with the, he says he has with always been good at creating things. He did not finish school, but he made things like a helicopter and a radio station. He says, if I could build those things, why can't I build a car that powers itself? He asks people to give him a chance and not judge him too quickly. When people say, we need proof, Maxwell says, come and see my car. He invites some people to his workshop to watch the car move without fuel. He says that those who see it believe it is real. He tells people, seeing is believing. If you see it, you will understand. Maxwell says he is working hard to make more cars. He wants to build more cars and show the world that his invention is true. He dreams of a day when every family can have a car that drives without fuel or charging. He believes this will make life easier, especially for people in Africa, where fuel can be very expensive. He says, I want to help people. That is my dream. Even though some people still doubt him, Maxwell says, I will not give up. I know what I built is real. The truth will come out one day. He says every great inventor faced problems, but they kept going. He believes that one day, the world will see that his fuel-free car is real, and it will change the way people travel forever. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to join our community.